For I have received from the Lord what I handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice after supper, saying, This chalice is the new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. Pentecost means 50th. So 50 days ago we celebrate the resurrection. And this marks the coming of the Holy Spirit and the beginning of the church. So as we come to pray, today's Mass has been offered for Tom McCoy, Bud Brogdon, Frank Robles, Menel Lasselle, Lauren Roy, David and Peter Trutel, Tony Mullert, Parishioners of Most Holy Trinity, John and Sonny Belkis, Tommy Schaefer, Wilford Prados, Admiral Vaughan Jr., Greg and Kitty Nunty, Carmel Leach, Morrow, and Tom McCoy. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate the feast day of Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit into our hearts, let us call on the Holy Spirit to fill us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit so that we can bear fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control as we celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are a mighty God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the incarnation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sent your Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you. you. We bless you. you. We adore you. you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten God. Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Menel Lassell, Lauren Roy, David and Penny Trutel, Tony Muir Lert, Parishioners of Most Holy Trinity, John and Sonny Velkis, Tommy Schaefer, Wilford Prados, Admiral Vaughan Jr., Greg and Kitty Nunty, Carmelite Morrow, Tom McCoy, Bud Brogdon, Frank Robles. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church and every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? 
And how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Iliamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as driver, travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sequence. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor. Come, source of all our store. Come within our bosom shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, soulless in the midst of woe. O oh, most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good indeed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore, and confess you evermore in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue, sure as reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, when the advocate comes, whom I send you from the Father, the spirit of truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me, and you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. For when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you, that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pentecost Sunday we call the birthday of the church. And the church Jesus established is known as the one holy Catholic and apostolic. And it's been around 1,988 years. It's a church of sinners, for sinners, run by sinners. And we should never put our faith in the people of the church, but always in its founder, Jesus Christ. And the church of Jesus Christ will last forever. Unfortunately, today, we have over 45,000 different man-made churches. And they all think they can do a better job than Jesus. But ask yourself this question. Which church do you think Jesus would want you to be in? The one he established or a man-made one? And every church has its founder. So it's good to know the history of every denomination and who founded them and why. Another thing that's good to remember, the church existed long before the New Testament. We didn't have a New Testament until the year 382 at the Council of Rome. And people forget that the New Testament is a Catholic book. It was written by members of the Catholic Church and it was preserved by the Catholic Church. So it's very important to remember that the New Testament is a Catholic book and every Catholic should read it daily. And another very important thing to remember is that for well over a thousand years, every Christian believed in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Nobody ever challenged whether the Eucharist was Jesus Christ, body, blood, and soul and divinity until well after a thousand years. And that's the great thing about the Catholic Church. We have a history, we have the early fathers of the church, we have 266 popes from Peter to um, Pope Francis, and there are far more Catholics in the world today than there are in the other 45,000 denominations put together. So we should be very proud of our Catholic faith and do the very best we can to be the best Catholic you can be on this, the feast day of Pentecost, the birthday of one holy Catholic and apostolic church founded by Jesus Christ himself. Amen. Please stand as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for Lauren Roy, for Maynell LaSalle, Frank Robles, 
Buzz Brogdon, Tom McCoy, David and Penny Trutel, Tony Mollert, Parishioners of Most Holy Trinity, John and Sonny Velkis, Tommy Schaefer, Wilford Prados, Admiral Vaughan Jr., Greg and Kitty Nunty, Carmelite Morrow, Tom McCoy, for our sick, for all those who've asked for special prayers, for all Catholics, may they be faithful to the faith in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. For all those who have been signed and sealed with the Holy Spirit, that this church may be united as one body made of many parts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In grateful thanksgiving for the many people who helped us reach our goal in the Catholic Extension Society $75,000 Matching Grant Challenge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That families will encourage their children to become involved in parish life in our youth programs and as altar servers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that our quads will continue to form spiritual disciples and draw closer to Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the dead in our parish and all our families, especially Curtis and Claire Peranich, Herman Nolet, may they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our heart, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. May we always know that you are one God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We trust in your guidance. Lead us to heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same spirit as the church came to birth, Open to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome and pass with joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they attain. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And today a quote from St. Ambrose who was born in the year 333 and a beautiful saying about the Eucharist. When the time comes for the confection of the venerable sacrament, then the priest uses not his own words, but the words of Christ. Therefore it is the word of Christ that confects the sacrament. Before it is consecrated, it is bread. But where the words of Christ come in, it is the body of Christ. Finally hear him say, All of you take and eat of this, for this is my body. And before the words of Christ, the chalice is full of wine and water. But where the words of Christ have been operative, it is made the blood of Christ, which redeems his people. You're, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go and make disciples. Thanks be to God. Now today let us pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle us the fire of your love. 
Sing forth your spirit, and we shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, and by the light of the Holy Spirit, instruct the hearts of the faithful, granted by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, Diane, you will help me win some money. I'm trying. I try every week, but no luck. Oh, very good lady, Jerry Martin. Thank you, Jerry. Got a cute email here. After many years apart, two high school friends reunited and discussed their careers. One said he had attended college and worked hard to become a success but had recently fallen on hard times. The other admitted he had dropped out of college his freshman year and was pretty lazy. The first one asked, so what have you been doing all these years? Well, the lazy friend answered, one day I opened my Bible at random, closed my eyes and dropped my finger on a word. The word was oil. So I invested the little money I had in oil and did very well. Later, I opened the Bible again, closed my eyes, and dropped my finger on the word gold. So I invested my oil profits in gold, and those mines really produced. Now I'm one of the richest men in America. The college-educated friend was so impressed that he rushed back to his hotel, grabbed the Bible, closed his eyes, and dropped his finger on the page. When he opened his eyes, he was horrible to find the words. Chapter 11. <laughs> Very good.